YouTube land, it's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And you've probably been asking for a while, is this a new piece of paper with your face with the smirk smile and raised eyebrows? Yes. I, I had to do a new one because my other one got all, you know what I mean, dirty and I had to throw it out but I redid it. I am going to get this laminated so that never happens again. But it's still got the same old insignias. Gundam, DC, Captain America, Red Time Force Ranger or Power Rangers, um, Clone Wars, Clone Trooper, and my boy Optimus Prime. And it is Transformers Week still, and yes, we are reviewing Optimus Prime and Bumblebee in the house. But before we show off Bumblebee himself, we're going to look at the vehicle modes. And these are really well done, because I don't want to pay too much for a studio series. I got this for, I think, like uh, 8 bucks from Steel City Con. And given I like the Chevy Camaro Bumblebee, and this is the best continuity of the Chevy Camaro Bumblebee. If you know from what series, what movie it's from, this exact Chevy Camaro, if it's from the original Michael Bay first movie, or Dark of the Moon, or Age of Extinction, let me know. Not Age of Extinction, sorry. Revenge of the Fallen, if you know... Leave me a comment, because I would love to know. Because I'm not good with what's what movie it, what uh, movie this figure comes from. But I know it comes from the Michael Bay movies. But I remember it from the first Transformers movie and Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon. If you know exactly which movie this figure in the series, then let me know. And of course, last night or or uh, Age of Extinction, Optimus Prime, and I got a sword for him. No Optimus Prime would be complete without a sword from for the last night Prime to wield. But now it's time for comparison. We're gonna do Bumblebee first. Here is the. Uh, Bumblebee, Chevy Camaro, new Chevy Camaro, next to Optimus Prime. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. Awesome truck mode with this. Bumblebee movie Optimus. And that's about it. Now we're going to move on to the one-step comparison. Bumblebee movie Optimus. Original... Michael Bay, Optimus Prime, just because. And now we're going to get down to transformation here on the channel. So we're going to start with the one step first, because it's just easy to convert. And it converts real simple. I like it. And now we're going to give him his sword, and he's in his robot mode, looking all nighty, and that's pretty cool. Now we're going to transform Bumblebee. Fomos, we're going to unpeg the doors, if I can get a door free. And I got it. I got it. Second verse, just like the first. And we're getting it so far. And straighten out the legs. Which is going smoothly, if I do say so myself. No issues yet. Now we're going to focus on opening this hood up, I think. Cuz 
on splitting the arms like so. Fold down the wheels. And we're getting it transformed pretty good. Can we get it transformed? And it's working. It's working. And yes, I got that from episode one of Star Wars. Yep. It's working. It's working. So far, so good. And so far, we got the torso nearly done. Now we just rotate the arms, flip this in to form his cannon arm, and straighten it out. Rotate this around. Best from the other side, rotate it around. Rotate. And you can see he's using the car seats as part of his arms. Ain't that awesome? That's what I dig about this figure. It's awesome. Second verse, just like the first. We're going to rotate. Rotate. Straighten the arm out. And there we got Bumblebee. I'm second to none. I'm gonna knock you, knock you around because I'm second to none. Oh yeah, I love doing a song reference. I love doing musical songs sometimes. And that was one I came up with for this video. <laughs> I'm second to none. Yep. Now we're going to compare him next to Optimus Prime as soon as I can transform him, which is going to be easy. I'm second to none. Which I've memorized this transformation in my head. Which is pretty good for this review six. You know what I mean? Sorry if there's it's gonna take a while because it's a a nifty transformation, I guess you could say. Which I memorized this transformation pretty good. And so far I'm getting it here on camera, which is good for today. And so far I'm getting it on off camera pretty good. Sure it's a bit of a complicated transformation, but it's fun.
I'm getting it. Slowly but surely. I have to think a lot with this transforming off camera. Of course. And a panel just popped loose. <laughs> this is an old figure and has a lot of popping loose issues. But here we have... Oh, sorry about it. So, sorry about that. I knocked into the tripod a bit. Here we have... Michael Bay original Chevy Camaro... Bumblebee with the leader of the free galaxy, Optimus Prime. Autobots, transform and roll out. And they look good together. Scout and leader here on planet Earth. Except it's still not wanting to keep the toesies out. And it doesn't want to stand too well today. This old figure can be fussy, but I like it for the poseable fingers. Now for the last comparison with last night movie Optimus. Bumblebee movie. Optimus Prime. Cyberverse. Not Cyberverse. Energonic Niter Optimus Prime with Age of Extinction Prime. And last night movie Optimus. And they look good together. If I do say so myself. But this is based on Age of Extinction a little bit. In the robot mode and the vehicle mode. But I dig it. I really do. More stuff for my Autobots and Decepticon collection. Because I got quite a bit of Autobots. And you know me, I just love Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. They are awesome. They are cool. And I'd say, if you could find this version of Bumblebee, pick him up. And if you can find the one step, pick him up. They are fun to mess around with and to review here on this channel. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.